welcome to my youtube channel so today i'll show you how to add domains in cwp panel so let's start guys so first of all go to your domain account and here go to the domain setting and here guys you can simply add the domain but first of all we have to edit the name server so go to the your domain provider so here this is my domain i have two domain techd.tk and techd.ml this is free of cost of domain so i will use this go to the manage dns and here management tool and click on name server so here guys you have to choose use custom name server and enter here your own domain name server you have configured so this is my name server ns1.techt.net and ns2.techt.net and click on change name server so when you click change name server so we'll get a message changes saved successfully that means your name server successfully changed so in second domain same way you have to go through simply step by step and our name server is configured so come back to the centos web panel right now we open the website so site this site cannot be reached both site will pop up the same message so now we will configure the websites so come back to the control panel so i simply copy the domain name and click on add a new domain and here i simply paste the domain name techd.tk and this is the path where our domain directory it will create by itself simply if you want to generate auto ssl and then click on add new account so guys it is processing domain is successfully added so guys this is the domain name username your path and right now your ssl is unlocked so I will create a video in future so you now click on add and same way you have to add your second account so simply copy the domain name and paste here simply check the auto SSL and path will be automatically created by itself and then click on add a new account you add a new domain and it will processing so this is the way where you can add a new domain in centos web panel so guys both domain is added here so now we have to set up the domain so go to the dashboard and i'll install wordpress simple wordpress in this domain so let's check this website working or not so first of all scroll it down and click on wordpress and here guys you have to choose the protocol so i choose this this is your switch whatever you want to check it and in choose domain so i check my domain name and here the directory i choose the root directory so I delete it and here you have to create your database so I enter the database name and then you have to enter the username and here you have to enter your own password and it will also give automatically generated password and then you have to click on install so right now installation is done so 
you will simply open the link and here guys our website is up and you have to choose to install the WordPress so simply click on continue so our name server is working fine so here you have to simply set up the title give the username enter the password if you want otherwise you have still encrypted password simply copy the password and paste somewhere else and enter your email address so in future if you want to reset your password so you can easily reset your password so enter the email address and then click on install wordpress this is search engine visibility if you want check this if you want if you not want then uncheck it and then click on install wordpress so it will took some time to installation now you have simply paste the password in notepad and now click on login so simply click on login and here enter your username and then enter your password so you can easily use the wordpress admin panel so here guys you successfully logged in go to the appearance you have to install the theme you have choose your own theme if you want if you have purchased theme so simply you can add new theme so i activate the theme so now i open the website techd.tk so you can see guys our website is working fine so this is the way how you can set up the domain in centos web panel domain account where you can manage the multiple domain name in single account so now same here you can install the anything from backend so now i set up the second domain which one is so you have to follow the same step which is we have already done so go to the same way and you can easily install the wordpress and configure it so now I, now I visit the site techd.ml so here guys this is website is also working fine so this is the way how you can install the new domain add up and then you can install the wordpress in your domain so this is the way so in next video i'll show you how to add subdomain so thank you for watching this video thank you very much